Hello, classy, classy people. How y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden. I am your Speed King. I want to wish each and every one of you a happy, happy Thanksgiving and a safe Thanksgiving. Please enjoy, and I want to thank you for your support over this last year and a half. Uh, I'm very grateful for that and thankful for that, but we do want to wish you and yours from me and mine a happy, happy as always. So as always, please, if you're watching the video and you've never seen one of our videos, please take a peek, see if you like it. If you do, please subscribe. We can use your support, like us, and most of all, comment. I answer each and one of them personally right here. Well. Of course, we're getting ahead of our work. We're taking a look at Friday steak races, and we're down at Del Mar. We're going to take a look at the Hollywood Turf Cup on Friday, the 26th, the day after Thanksgiving. It is a marathon race. It is a grade two race. Going a mile and a half on the turf, it's a field of seven, three-year-olds and upward for a cool $250,000. You know some of the actors. It's the same horses all the time that run in these marathon races, and we're going to attempt to do a little analysis on this and see what we can come up with in this here grade two event at Del Mar on Friday which is the seventh race. Well, the number one horse, well, we come right out of the gate with guns a-blaring, right? Award winner, the number one horse award winner is tw uh, 20 starts, four wins, four seconds, and one third for $346,000. Wait a minute, this horse is by the one and only, that's right, the Cyrus Ghost Zapper. You see me with my Ghost Zapper apparel on for president. And of course, award winner, uh, is trained by David Hoffman and uh, Juan Hernandez is in the yards. And I'm telling you right now, this horse is going to be my top pick for a lot of reasons other than the fact that he's Ghost Zapper's son. But I'm not leaning that way because of that. I'm leaning that way because the horse is 12 to 1 on the rail. And his speed figures are just as good as anybody else's in this race. The horse is coming off of a 55-day layoff. And the fact of the matter is, is he's going to be sitting in the catbird seat. That's right. The number six horse in this race is a claim, uh, Acclimate. And Acclimate is a speedy horse, as you all know. And, um, Ricky Gonzalez on Acclimate does a very nice job of putting this horse on the lead and trying to nurse it. And award winner, the number one horse who we're currently talking about, will be sitting in the catbird seat, if you ask me. And if he can get the jump on the rest of the field, as long as he don't allow Acclimate to rock him to sleep and sprint home, you know, award winner at 12 to 1 is some kind of value here, folks. I mean, this is a very, very small field, and it, the pace of the race really figures out for me really nice here. There's no doubt that Acclimate's going to go on the, in the front, and he's going to be in front by about two limbs. And the horse that's going to be sitting second is award winner. And then there's going to be a gap back to the 2, 4, and the 5 horse, probably, in my opinion. And if uh, award winner... Uh, can get the jump on the rest of the field at 12 to 1, I think the horse has a great chance. Now, the last time he ran was October 2nd at Saratoga in the grade 2 John Henry. He ran fourth, but only by a length. He had uh, was beaten by United, who's not in this race, but Acclimate did run second by a nose to um, Fry's Road, who's the two horse here. But realize, he's only a lift behind these horses. And he did have trouble at the 16th pole award winner when they turned for home. Go and watch that race, and you can see where Kyle Frey had taken the horse up a little bit on award winner. We have our regular rider back this time, Juan Hernandez. He's coming off a 55-day layoff, and I think Mr. Hoffman got this horse prime. Now, and again, you don't know Ghost Zapper to uh, be a turf horse, but the sire, uh, the dam of this horse is Divine Actress, who is by theatrical, the grandsire. So, again, that's where the bloodline comes in. Uh, for the turf for award winner and we like this horse a whole bunch now two back or three back he did beat acclimate in the um, Charles Whittingham stakes on um, what day was that on uh, May 29th at Santa Anita at a cool six to one so again award winner is not a stretch here what's really is a stretch here is that the value on this horse is 12 to 1 and to me that's asinine I think that's crazy. I think that's great for us. So I believe a war winner will and is my top pick in this race. And I believe if he sits in the catbird seat, he can get the jump on the rest of the field behind him, providing he don't let acclimate lollygag and rock him to sleep on the front end. Mr. Ricky Gonzalez on the six. 
which is a very nice horse, by the way. So award winner will be our top pick in this spot for sure, and the value doesn't hurt at 12 to 1 on our way up to 14 or 15 to 1 for sure. We get our regular rider back, Juan Hernandez, and we are very hot to the, uh, Friday about the number one award winner. The number two horse, well, Fry's Road, we talked about it, comes out of the same race, the John Henry race on October 2nd at Santa Anita, where he ran third behind Acclimate uh, and United. That is the race that award winner came out of, who's only backed by a length and did have trouble at the 16th pole. But Fry's Road is a very, very nice colt, four-year-old, has only 10 starts, two wins, three seconds, and one third. The conditioner on hand is Mike McCarthy. We're not mad about that and uh, Humberto Rispoli is a rider so you know he has a very nice talented grass rider up and the two horse is a nice horse now I hate the fact that he's three to one against some of these veteran salty horses rock emperors down on the bottom but hey this four-year-old can flat out run and the upside is there for the two fries road so I wouldn't be mad at you if you like them I hate the three to one uh, price here on him he's going to be far far back I'm hoping I'm long gone by the time he gets to running with the award winner. But Fry's Road is a very, very nice horse, and there is a lot of upside, this quality road uh, colt for sure. The number two, I would use a mark beneath. Uh, the number three horse, say the word. Well, the word is, you know what the word is. Well, here's a six-year-old, 32 starts, six wins, four seconds, and five-thirds. And again, there's that guy again, Mama. There is Phil D'Amato. What a great, great trainer he is. This horse is by more than ready, say the word. Uh, coming off of a 97-day layoff, and he has the services of one of my all-time favorite jocks, Kent DeSormo. The horse is 4-1 to one on the morning line, and again, this horse is fresh. This horse is fit, and this is a hard hitter. We know what Phil DeMotto can do. I'm not mad at you again if you like this horse. I mean, 4-1 to one appears to be a square price for me. He's got an 18% win probability when I ran him through our database. And about 4-1, to 5-1 to one is a square price on the number three horse, say the word. Speed figures are okay. I think they're a cut below some of the top-tier horses in this race. But again, you know, you got the services of Ken Tosormo, and he does know how to rock them to sleep and, you know, hurt the hurt people down the lane. Ken Tosormo is a very, very crafty and savvy veteran rider. So Say the Word is a very, very nice horse and has every right to run big in this spot. And then you have Astronaut. Astronaut, again, just like uh, Say the Word is a four-year-old with only ten starts. Two wins, five seconds. No, you didn't. I just said the horse ran second five times. I hate that as always. The speed figures are real light on this horse. This horse went to the Breeders' Cup uh, turf race on November 6th right here at Del Mar. Finished 12th uh, by 17 limps. And uh, also Rock Emperor was in that race, the Breeders' Cup race. Had Victor Espinoza up, and Victor is returning to, again today on Astronaut for John Sheriff. Speed figures always look to cut below for me. The horse is 5-1, to one, and I don't like Astronaut in this spot at all. The number five horse is Cupid Claws. Well, Cupid Claws just appears to be overmatched. Yeah, it's got 26 starts this six years old. It is Peter Miller, who's going to be going on hiatus, so I heard, right? And uh, four wins, four seconds, and four thirds. I don't like Cupid Claw, the number 12, the number five horse at 12 to 1 here at all. We're going to throw the five right off the ticket. The number five, well, we talked a little bit about Acclimate, uh, with Ricky Gonzalez up. Uh, again, this is Phil model second horse in this race, and again, he will go to the front. This horse always goes to the front. Ricky Gonzalez really, really rides this horse beautifully each and every time. He knows what his job is. He goes to the front. He tries to rock him to sleep. This horse loves to run long, and if they let him lollygag on the lead, he will be gone. Um, and I'm sure that award winner will be sitting second behind him around the racetrack. You just can't let him put you to sleep, acclimate. But again, the horse has 28 starts, 7 wins, 5 seconds, and 5 thirds. Phil the model once again, this 7-year-old can flat out run. Lightly raced to be 7 with only 28 starts, and this horse clearly, clearly knows his job. The speed figures 2 back coming out of the John Henry. That's the race that award winner came out of who we haven't seen since then 55 days ago 
has a very, very nice speed figure, and uh, Acclimate will be our second pick in this here race for sure. I'm certain. Very, very nice horse, and he's four to one on the morning line, coming off of a 20-day uh, rest off of the Breeders' Cup race on November 6th. That part I don't like, right? 20 days and just about three weeks. So, again, the advantage I think award winner has over him is that award winner hasn't run since they ran that race on October 2nd, and award winner's coming off of a 55-day freshening, where Acclimate is coming off of a 20-day freshening off of the Breeders' Cup uh, turf race where uh, Yaibar won the race and uh, this horse ran uh, 14th in that race. And the last horse in the race is the number seven. That's right, uh, Rock Emperor. We cashed a nice ticket on this horse too back on October uh, 9th. But Rock Emperor has 21 starts, four wins, five seconds, and six thirds for $900,000. What else is new for this five year old horse? Trained by the Turf Master. That's right, downtown Brown. This is Chad doing what Chad does, right? And uh, Rock Emperor is the eight to five morning line favorite, and I guess rightly so. They took the horse uh, to uh, the Breeders' Cup turf race as well as they did the. Uh, um, acclimate the number six horse and he ran eighth by six so rock emperor came out of that race with a beautiful beautiful speed figure he does have the service of flavian pratt that's what i said of course flavian pratt and uh, chad brown is hooking up again and they're out in california this time you know flavian's home spot you know but rock emperor is obviously the horse they all going to have to be, because once they turn for home, this horse will be motoring down the lane. I think we can get the jump on them with award winner, and of course, with uh, Acclimate, uh, maybe long gone like that. So, let's not get it wrong. Rock Emperor is clearly the horse to beat in here, and he will be my third pick in the Hollywood Turf Cup. So, there it is, folks. You're saying, well, what is it, Mr. Speed King? You know the actors. I don't have to tell you about Rock Emperor. I don't have to tell you about Say the Word or Astronaut. I'm going to go ahead and lean with uh, award winner at 12 to 1. I think that is tremendous value. I believe it's an overlay. In my database, he's supposed to be 5 or 6 to 1 against this bunch. I think he'll be sitting in the catbird seat as they turn uh, for home. I think he'll be sitting right behind Acclimate, providing that. Uh, acclimate don't put him to sleep and I think he could get the jump on the rest of this field so our top pick is going to be the number one horse award winner and then our second pick is going to be the number six acclimate who is clearly the speed and you know speed is what king if you let speed lollygag on the lead the longer they go the more I want the speed horse because it can literally put them to sleep and then sprint for home so the number six acclimate will be our second choice and I would be remiss to leave downtown brown the turf master off the ticket. Rock Emperor would be our third pick in here as well. But this is a very contentious race. This is a very nice race. You can lean either way. But one thing that I would tell you to do is make sure you get your value here. I don't think I want 7 to 5 or 8 to 5 in this here particular race with such, such good turf horses like Fry's Road, who's improving. Say the word to other the model horse, who's improving for sure. Uh, four year old who's improving as well. So, again, an astronaut is nothing to sneeze. At. The only real bad horse in the race is a number five, and that would be Cupid Claw, right? So again, these races are very, very closely matched. It is a rider's race. It's how the race is uh, pace-wide uh, figures out. And I'm going to go ahead and, one, take the value. Go ahead and take my sire uh, on the one horse. Go Zapper with award winning, and I like 12 to 1. So it's 1, 6, 7 for us here. We like award winner. We think it's a beautiful value play here. And as always, folks, down in our our uh, description. Please see our disclaimer down there. And most of all, happy holiday to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you and to each one of you. And thank you so much for all the support this last year and a half. Stay classy. Let's get the son of Ghost Zapper around the track at a fat price, a 12 to 1. Let's stuff our pockets with some shackles. Stay classy, folks, in everything you do. Have a happy Thanksgiving.